Hello everyone and welcome back to Food Review Club. You join us today here in Dubai for a very special video. We've popped into Nakheel Mall on the park for a burger shop that's been very highly tipped off to us. Ugly. From what I've seen on their Instagram, this looks anything but ugly. Far from ugly. Far from ugly. Interesting fact about this place too, they're currently in the running for the best burger in Dubai. Worthy review? I think so. Ugly burger, let's go and get it. Before we get into this video, by the way, where would you like to see us go? In Dubai? Anywhere. If you've got a favorite spot you think we've got to visit, please let us know. And like and subscribe if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up. Hello. Do you, uh, do you mind us filming? Film? Yes, sir. No, no problem. problem. Yeah. My friend, we've heard big things about this burger shop. What would you recommend? So, we have uh, beef and chicken burgers. Five beef. Five of the beef. Four chicken. Four chicken. Well, I've got to have one of each, right? I think so. Should we share? Should we share? Wait, one of each? Should we yeah. share? One beef, one chicken? Which? That looks like a big, a bad boy. What's in that? It's with double beef patty. Two cheese, cheese, onion rings, barbecue sauce, and garlic sauce. Yeah. Sounds nasty, bro. It's a big one, that is, isn't it? Thank you. You're talking about the. Uh, well, right, sorry, yeah. sorry. And the burger. Sorry. Is it good? Big seller? Uh, for the beef, yeah. Funky Fungus and the Big Popper is the best seller. I think we'll get the Big Popper, just that looks sensational. And in terms of the chicken, which one do you think looks good? Uh, you like spicy? Yeah, look, this is such a broad question. <laughs> How spicy? We have uh, we have super spicy, which is a super. bulldog. Fancy super spicy? If I you think put I think super, super, the word spicy. of spicy, it means very hot. Yeah. Yeah, very hot. Very hot. Very hot. No, that, I, think, I think we could probably rule that one out then. Sure. Yeah, uh, David, yeah, you could right. put super in the word of spicy. You know it's like like Superman, super yeah, fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super spicy, not for me today. It's too early. <laughs> okay, let's go for Nashville. So you've just really you've eradicated the two normal burgers. Basically. And we're only going for this one because it's not the super spicy. But we've still got two chilies out of three. My friend, I'm going to back you. Let's go for the Nashville. Nashville, Nashville hot. What about the, the, the juicy fries with the chili con carne? Is this good? Chili con carne, yeah. Is it good? Spicy, yeah. Juicy How spicy? Spicy. Um, normal spicy. Just normal Just spicy? Yeah, let's have that. I think they look, I think that picture looks fantastic. I'm sold. Let's have a look at them. Oh, yeah. How about some sides, sir? What, what sides would you recommend? We have balls, we have chicken nuggets. Nuggets, we use a chicken thigh. Wow. We don't use chicken breast, we uh, use chicken is thigh. The, is it thigh in the burger too? Yes, sir. Wow. It's more juicier than the breast. Juicy, flavour. I, I love thighs. It's a great, it's a great addition to any burger. Absolutely. All right, let's do, do some shrimp balls. We've never had those before. It comes with the sauce. We have all homemade sauces, yes. which is like honey mustard, sweet chili sauce. We have burning sauce, a lot of sauces. What would you, what would you say? Did you say burning sauce? If you're going for the shrimp balls, go for the um, sweet chili sauce. He did say burning sauce. I feel like you should go for the burning sauce. There you go. Burning sauce? No. If you've got, you can't have the word burning yeah, in something extreme, that's... Extreme, just... Yeah. Yeah, super it's burning. Nice gentle sauce. Have you got any gentle sauce? <laughs> like love sauce? Uh, love sauce. Let's go for ugly sauce. Ugly sauce. Ugly sauce. There we so go. It's the, the house sauce. It's the house sauce. And the classic sauce. Just yeah, let's do that. Yeah. I just want you to know, you've been amazing, by the way. Exactly what you... We need to do something new. It's exactly what you need from a uh, member sure? of staff. God bless, my friend. Thank you. Let's get the payment done. Roll it. Three, two, one. I'm on the palm, I'm feeling hungry. We're at the award nominated Ugly Burger for a review. Let's go inside. This is cool. Eric has popped out. Hello, Thanks Eric. Welcome to Dubai. Thanks for having us. <laughs> We've heard big things about this place, okay. and you've just been telling us about the, this, this is your business and the origin. But I thought we should tell, tell everyone yeah, so about how you started. This, this uh, Ugly Burger, we started this during COVID in 2020. This physical location now has been here for one year. All the food that we make here is, is all in-house. The buns are secret recipe, beef is minced in-house, sauces are made here, fries are triple cooked. So, it's, I mean, it's great yeah, to have yeah, you guys yeah. here to try the food. Thank you. And have you got anything, what else do you do here? Is it, is it... Uh, so, we have a lot of brands. In the past, I had the uh, British Chinese as well. Really? The biggest thing that we have at the moment, we call it ugly noodles. Really, what's, really what's, well. What sort of noodles? Like? Um, the, it's, a, it's a dandan noodle oh. and a Sichuan wonton, which is made with chicken and shrimp. That sounds so oh, that good. That sounds wicked. So you make it here? Yeah, we have some of the production here. Can you want to try it? Yeah, I'd okay, love to. I'll bring oh. some out with the food. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> get it, mate. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Double review. Well, thanks for coming out and taking uh, some time out of your day. That's great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Congratulations. You. It looks like a good shot. Thank you. Thank you. Right, boys and girls. The first thing to report here, and I love this is my favourite thing to report when we're eating and reviewing, the smell. 
the first thing you feel? I've instantly got that powerhouse aroma kick. And here's why. Come and have a look at this. Gorgeous plate. Tray, sorry. I think I can smell the chili. Look at these gnarly chips, by the way. He said they were triple cooked, right? And my God, you can see it on them. What do we do first? Daniel, son, let's go beef first. Potentially holding it. Oh my God, the bun. Bro, can I just get you to poke, to poke the bun, please? Super soft. That's a soft bun. But also, thick enough at the bottom to withstand the patties. So in here, oh my God, I've got all the sauce, bro. Double patty, onion rings, garlic. Oh man, it's garlic and barbecue. Oh bro, that's right up my alley. Here we go. Cheers everyone. What's the name of this one called? The Big Popper. Here we go. My God. Wow. First thing I'm gonna use the word I'm gonna use to describe this is delicate. Refined, delicate, soft, subtle, but at the same time, you've got a powerhouse kick there. The beef is sensational. An amazing blend. Got a real strong beef flavour to it. Loads of fat, loads of flavour. That's the burger I would definitely be ordering. Again, sort of smashed patty, caramels on the outside, but you've still got that sort of juiciness on the inside. Look, can you see that? Best of both worlds right there. The question I'm asking myself now is, does that taste like an award-winning burger? Short answer to that is yes. And chicken burger lovers. Yeah, that's the one. What are you saying about that? <laughs> that looks really good. What are you saying about this? Dubai, is this the best chicken burger in town? I've got that Asian influence here as well. You can see the slaw and the pickles and like, Cheers, everyone. Oh, man. Oh, the heat. I forgot about that. <laughs> Two out of three chilies. That thigh meat. Can you look how juicy that thigh meat is? Can you see that? <laughs> yep. There's no dry breast around here, mush. Mate, unbelievable. That heat is really building my mouth. Yeah, I come on strong, bro. But guess what? I kind of like it. Delicious. Okay. You good? No. No. <clears throat> I feel like I'm on a bit of a roller coaster, bro. I'm just turning into a bit of a pansy. It's full of flavour, and I'm smiling. It's not whip. It's not kicking me up the bum. I'm just got a bit of a party going on in my mouth right now. Guess what? I kind of like it. Classy, heavy hitting, full of flavour, balanced, and I've got that spicy kick. What am I like most excited about these fries? See this chili underneath. Ah, oh. big chips, bro. Excellent chip spec. In a fry leaderboard, some of the best fries I've ever had. Really? Yeah, look. A little bit gnarly, hand cut, triple fried. I've got crunchy bits. I've got big flavour. They're the sort of chips you can put into a burger and it really yeah, brings up to the party. Carb it up. Wow. Shrimp balls. I didn't know shrimp had balls. Very good, Daniel. Thank you. We don't have this much. Oh, they're firm. Okay, absolutely. I thought it was gonna be soft, that's hard. Like, like it's got a bit of bite to it, we've got a bit of pull. Mm. Not sure if I really like that or not. Oh, yep. Oh. Wow. Absolutely delicious. Like a, uh, a springy prawn toast. Never ever had them before. Wasn't expecting to be like that. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Wicked side. Also, wicked packaging too. Love that. Let's get ugly. 
says me. It's time for a score. Standards and flavours are high. Price point was bang on point. The Big Popper, for example, the biggest, baddest, gnarliest burger on the menu, 60 AD. What's that, uh, roughly, I don't know, 10, 12. Normal mm. prices for the big for the big boy, especially in Dubai. That regular cheeseburger, that's 36. Brings it right down where you want it to be. All things considered, this is a big fat nine out of 10. Nine out of 10, wicked score. Loved meeting him, loved the concept, loved the look. The food is bang on. Would I recommend coming here? Absolutely. The chicken burger is the one. That thigh meat, special. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. What's this? Oh, the noodles. These are the noodles and the that. wontons. Talk to us then. So, so we have the two main staples of Chinese food, dumplings oh, wow. and noodles. This has uh, chopped chicken thighs and tiger shrimp inside mixed together. So chicken and shrimp? Wow. Yeah, chicken and shrimp wontons in a Sichuan chili oil. Yes. All homemade. It looks beautiful. And uh, like, each piece is hand folded. And then we have the dandan noodles. This one is quite fun. So you have to mix everything together. So all with the your sauce. Hands. No, obviously <laughs> not with your hands. You can if you want. And then, uh, so yeah, it's a wheat noodle with a sesame spicy sauce at the bottom, topped with roasted peanuts, marinated Angus beef, oh, wow. pickled mustard leaves, and some bok choy as well. It's just different. Do you know what's so special about this that obviously you know, but you get such a variety of flavor. You get the sweet, the spicy, yeah. the, the acidity coming through. I love this stuff. I think I'm gonna like this the most. I mean, can I mix it for you? Please. Yeah. Here we go. A professional I think we should mixer. watch you mix. Yeah. Can we watch? So we put the sauce at the bottom. So this is like part of the fun of this noodle dish is that you have to really get involved. Oh, so you're like, right? you're in and you're out. You're in, you pick the sauce up from the bottom. It looks like it's it coming up. alive. Right. Can you smell that? Oh my God, the the, the, uh, the sauce at the bottom is coming through and it's mm -hmm. come, the flavor's coming out. Yeah. I don't think it gets better than this. That looks incredible. I don't think it gets better. One's good, one's good. That's so special, man. Thank you. It's got that bouncy texture. Yeah, bouncy texture, that's exactly how it is. It's just stunning. Yeah. We've got a big bit of shrimp there as well. Yeah. You can taste yeah, the chicken, yeah. the oil, the flavour. Yeah, the heat's coming through a bit now. You can just see it, it looks alive. Yeah. Hand folded. Okay. So if anyone watching this now from Dubai, where can they get this? This right now, um, we, we, we do a lot of events and pop-ups with this. So you Is have it, to follow us on Instagram, at Real Ugly Noodles. And you just follow our journey. Wherever we go, we announce it. It's available pretty much year round with a few gaps here and there. So you're spreading the word right now until you open a physical shop. Is that the plan? That's the plan, yeah. Oh, well, look, speak up like this. Yeah, straight in. Food like that makes you want to cry. That's emotional. That's like filling. Good. Wow. How about the noodles? You make these yourself? The noodles are They're our recipe, yeah. There's so much going on, but at the same time, it balances out perfectly. The texture, depth, flavour to it, got the chew of the noodle, it's also soft, a bit of sharpness in there, sweet. I don't know how you can get better than that, that's just like really comforting. Such as your thought. Yeah, that's special, that's really, really special. You might just have to do a quality test here. Yeah, please. <laughs> I don't think, um, I don't think it's a lot better than that. I've got a really subtle warmth in my mouth. It's not just fuel sometimes. Sometimes you need more there than just food. But I think that is a product that does that. And that's something really, really special that doesn't happen a lot. Thank you, bro. Welcome. Thank you for coming. God bless. <laughs> Thanks very much. I don't want to overshadow the burgers. That's a nine out of 10. They were very, very good. This is, for me and my simple mind and my simple palate, that right there is everything I'll ever need in food. Nine eight. How about that? What a Ugly place. noodles. And what? I hope you've enjoyed today's video, guys. We've got a bit of a bit of everything there. So good to meet Eric. 
choice working away now. If you've enjoyed today's video, guys, you know what to do. I love you lots. Thanks for supporting us on our journey. Yeah, that, ladies and gents, that's a review. Guys, I'm still here. Here <laughs> ugly. ugly. Um, Eric's got another concept he wants us to see, and it's... Here he is. Eric. It's just food, food after, after just food Just whipping after up new concept. Uh, Tell, another, what is this? This is like a crazy passion project of mine. I love sandwiches from the Viet, from Vietnam. Yep. Uh, so I traveled last year, then I recreated this this year. Um, so in my opinion... What is this, this one is, called then? It's, it's, uh, this is a classic one. And this is a garlic basil beef. This is, hindsight it's a baguette, yep. but it's a, it's a very, very special baguette. So the bread is homemade wow. to my recipe. The pate is homemade. The cold cuts, there's three of them in there. One of them is homemade. The mayonnaise is homemade. <laughs> Pickles are homemade, uh, so like you get the gist. This is and what's the concept called? Ban, ban me mafia. Ban me mafia. Ban me mafia. Ban me mafia. Yeah. Cool name. You got mafia in the name. You know it's gonna be good, right? Yeah. You better be. If you don't like it, yeah, it's gonna good. get whacked. Yeah. Someone's done. getting whacked. Any complaints on Google, they get whacked. Is that right? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that out too loud. Right? <laughs> well, yeah, New York so stuff far, right this on. is um, this is probably the most authentic ban me that you'll get right now in the UAE. Wow. And I kind of recreated it from my traveling, really? just to like, because I love it myself. So I basically created this for myself first, but then it was that popular that I had to like push it out as a new concept. Should we try some? Yeah. Should, should you cut, want it? Cut, cut it, it in half? half? Yeah, cut one in half. Yeah. I think you want to go for the classic first. Either you choose. Yeah, I don't mind. Excuse my hands. You're good, no, don't worry. Liquid, we, liquid. we feed dogs on the channel and touch yeah. dogs and they eat and they eat, eat off bins. We don't mind. Yeah. We are gross. <laughs> you might want to grab one of the classic yeah. ones and then Here we go. You can see the inside of oh, it. Oh, cross section alert. Oh, come on, hang on, hang on. Sorry. Look at that. So I can see cucumber, some Pickles? Pickle, radish, and cucumbers. Is that a uh, onion, spring onions? That's chicken liver pate. Pate, as yeah. we like to call it, animal jam. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Animal jam. Here we go. Great. Love a cross section. Right, let's do it. Can I have one? Yeah. I'll join in. Just love us. Look at the bread. Look, Dan. Can you poke? Can you poke my bread, please? How yep. soft that is. Can confirm. Very soft. Bread. Super soft. Very soft bread. Let's go. Oh my god. I didn't even have a chance to chew. <laughs> it got me before pre-chew. Mm. It opened up, yeah. Yeah, it's good. The, uh, the animal jam, what you call it, chicken liver pavé. Super smooth flavour at the bottom. Mm -hmm. like your, it's like your binder. <laughs> ah. Are you joking, Eric? Yeah. Are you good? Are you good? <coughs> oh. oh yeah, he went down the wrong throat. Uh, the wrong hole. Wrong hole. He's got ban oh, yeah. me in the lungs now. Mm. He's gone. You know, he's gone in again. <laughs> mm. that, that's how good it is. Near death, straight back in. The sauce and the pickles. So balanced. Wow. Where can people get these? Again, it's it's a papa bonny for now. Yep. I launched it two weeks ago. But this is hot off the press, bro. Mm -hmm. Two weeks ago, we we started this. Wow. So, you have to follow us on Instagram and uh, you'll see the future events there. And this one is? Uh, garlic basil beef. Yep. It has a slight, this has a slight kick to it. But it's not bad, it's not. You said that about the chicken burger? I think, I think you can handle it. Do you reckon? Yeah. That's what she Good. said. <laughs> Ready? Oh no. Eric, that is garlic beef. Big flavour. Big bold flavours. Big bold flavours. Now I'm getting the heat. Nice heat. Sweet. Spiky. Look at that look. Super soft. Garlic. In case beef, it's, it's like this roll, this bread is so soft. Mm -hmm. You got a nice crusty outer to it. 
Wow. Mm. That's so good. Again, comfort food at its finest. I've stopped chewing ages ago and I've still got it going on in my mouth. <laughs> That's incredible. That's man. a good sign. Isn't it? Mm. Sticks with you. That's sensational. What's the plan for this one then? Again, some more events just to get the, um, the news out that this is now available in Dubai. And yeah, eventually a, a physical store for this as well. Some of the best food we've had. Last, those last two things he's put out. Really special stuff. You've got, as Eric said, that Thai influence of electric, hard hitting, powerful flavors in a crusty, super soft, roll as the vehicle into the mouth it's just like romantically special you know what i mean this is great it's like taking something really refined and making it super easy just to eat what's walking <laughs> dubai what are you gonna say about that time for a score i um think that's great nine three these are some big scores close genius Ugly. What's the, why is the name ugly? Not because of how we look. Yeah. <laughs> <Are you sure? laughs> that was rude. But, sorry, uh, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's that beautiful. was. That was a joke. Sorry. So basically, the story is that the first burger we ever made, as I said before, we started it in a Korean restaurant yeah. inside as a passion project. Throughout COVID, we did a delivery only burger concept. So the first burger we ever made, my business partner sent it to his wife, a picture of it. He sent it to his wife. <laughs> Was it, who was in Korea at the time, and I'll show you. It's still our WhatsApp group photo. <laughs> this is what it looked like. <laughs> what was her response? Wow. It's a really ugly looking burger. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first thing she said. Yeah. And it kind of stuck with us. The name carried forward. We could use it in different concepts. So this is what we did with it. <laughs> I love stuff like that. That's why ugly burger. It was quite an ugly burger. It's not the best looking burger. But it must have tasted that. nice because you carried on and used not only used the insult, but used it as a name for the business and the brand. Yeah. Luckily, your flavours are anything but ugly. Thanks, brother. Thank I really so enjoyed much. meeting you. That's completely Thank a random you. one, but this is the beauty of doing food reviews, right? And sometimes you get a. I know. Yeah. You popped in for a burger right. and look what we got. Ladies and gents, that that's a review.